Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Monday, September the 9th. Sorry, I forgot to turn my mic on. Uh, my name is Barry Anderson, moderator of Your Trading Room. Any questions for me, you, you have, sorry, my phone went crazy, uh, you have for me, you can use this email address, and this is a link to get into our free room, 100% free. You don't have to be a member. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our trading room. This is a link. In this link, you're going to see a promo code for 15% off, 15, 15% off either the first month or the entire year of a Trade Ideas subscription. I open the room every morning at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. That's when I start to share my screen and get live on the mic. They're always asking me for an update. Okay, well, um, I only took two trades today. And again, I, I'm just going to uh, go over again the the... What we have as our paper trading module, okay, is still working. There are a couple. There are some bugs that I'm uh, noticing, and I've been passing them on. Just a minute, please. Let, let let me turn off my phone. Okay, sorry about that. One one moment here. Okay, sorry about that. Phone is now off. That was kind of annoying. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go over the paper trading module again, but I do want to point out uh, that. Today anyway, and I'm not saying every day is going to be like this, but the my watch list uh, on the upside really, really produced well. Even though, and I was a little reluctant at the beginning, but you know, the market was up, that's the pre-market. Market was up, and then once the market opened, it started to fade. Now, rallied a little bit here, but look at this. But look at home. I'm just going to show you some of the early ones. Home, uh, 748 was the trigger. It hit 820. GME, 451 was the trigger, and it hit 492. Uh, don't, don't worry about, uh, yeah, as, as, see, this is one of the bugs um, in, in the program. I, I tried to link my watch list to do a sort of a little auto trading of my watch list, but it, it wasn't doing it correctly. But anyway, that's just something else. SIG, I don't know if SIG is working. Let's see, SIG, yeah, not bad. I mean, 1494, but you see it popped up here all the way up to 1532 and then it pulled all the way back. And what I'm telling, suggesting to people is that they use this as, a, as, a, as an all day watch list though. Uh, yes, it worked at the beginning and then it pulled back and then it, really all you have to do is maybe set another a price alert, say around 1494, I actually set an alert right here, just over 15, but I was on, I it was right when I took my break, so I didn't see it. And uh, because I, I really believe that these can be good all day watch lists. Look at DocU, I mean, 5683, 5683, and it hit 59.76. I mean, that's $3, guys. I mean, again, I'm not saying you could get it right at 5683 and get right out $3 later. But I always say in the room, you give me the middle two thirds of, of these moves and I'll be very happy. Uh, MIK 859, it hit 916. These are great percentage moves. I don't think Newtonix worked. I don't think this one, well, it's starting to 2572. So, you know, this would have been a case again of just resetting the, the, the price alert 2572, but it's choppy. I mean, uh, you know, it's not, it's not a wonderful looking pattern to trade from. Tapestry, let's see what it did. Tapestry 2374, it hit a high of 2420. So not bad, you know, but it is pulled back. This one, this is one that I was actually in, Rheology, 518. And I sold out. This, so so this, is a, this is, again, this is the paper trading. You know, when you see these little flags here, this is the paper trading I did. But my real trading uh, got in at, I think it was 520, got out at 531 and 530, 525. Just, I was just worried about the market, but then look what it did afterwards. So, I mean, from here, 518, all the way up to 547. These are great percentage moves. Same thing with the Axle, AXL. I got, again, this is the paper trading, and I got into that one at 806. So, I don't, I don't have to take it right at the alert. I, like, I usually like to watch these things uh, take out the whole number. But again, I got out because of the market early, and, you know, kept going. 860, I mean, these are tremendous percentage moves. Uh, CRK 874. Let's see what it's done. I mean, you know, uh, from here 874 to 919, it pulled back, and then it was back up here. So, you know, I don't have to. I don't have to keep going. I mean, the MBOT was all over the place. I think what happened is 
yeah, at 8.10, had the alert, and somebody said they were going to be on, on uh, some network, CNBC or something, and the CEO was there, and that caused that to spike all the way down. Bottom line, though, is that what, why I'm creating this watch list is for people, especially who don't want to watch, um, you know, lots and lots of different stocks all day long. This is a pretty manageable watch list. Uh, you don't, you know, I create it for you guys every single day. Uh, all you have to do, go is go to, you know, the new, whoops, new channel bar and just click on Barry's windows, Barry's windows. And this is this is what it would look like. I, oh shoot, I can't show it to you. It's, it's behind, tucked behind here. But I, I had the web-based version uh, of this. In fact, let me see if I can just bring it up. Yes, I can. Okay. So there's the web-based version, exactly the same. This is what you'll see in the web-based version. What you might see on the in the app, it, it still I think says evening scan repeating or an evening scan curating. Uh, don't repeat up. I mean, a real mouthful. So I renamed them and the renaming has made it to the web-based version. It's, it's exactly the same. Same watch list and everything. It's just a you know, di different name. Um, I've got to get them to, to make the change in the app so it looks like this. It's a lot easier to follow. But you can, you know, you can follow it from the web-based version or you can follow it from the app. It's, it doesn't really make any difference. But, you know, I'm just fine. And even on the downside, you know, even on the short side, look at work. I mean, work got 2657, and now, you know, it gets all the way down to 2408. Domo reversed. Domo actually reversed 1531, and, it, and actually reversed up. Uh, SNCR, I think, is just, you know, it's just a little bit below. And LCI, I don't think, uh, I think that actually moved up. No, actually, you know, so I have an alert set right there. So even on the downside, Three out of the four of them are, well, work is spectacular. This one, no. I'm not saying every single alert you get from, the, from my watch list is, is going to, uh, you know, work. I wish I could say that, but, but I mean, you know, you're getting enough great looks from, from, uh, from a manageable number of stocks. That, that, that's the whole idea of it. Especially for people who are new to trading or, and new to trade ideas, you know, especially if you come in my room and you see all the different windows that I've got, you might get, you might feel overwhelmed. Where do I start? Well, you know, I mean, you could probably start with my, uh, that, my channel and just follow that for, for, for a while. I mean, to be honest, that's all I'm doing right now. I mean, yes, I have other windows open and I'm clicking on different alerts from those windows. But if, if all I did was follow my channel all day long, I'm pretty sure that I could be pretty darn successful. So I may even have to rethink the way I trade. You know, it just makes it a lot easier for me too. So anyway, um, you know, again, success. Uh, I've been doing this for a couple of months now, I think, with the, with the watch list. Um, and really with, with added filters in the last couple of weeks. And I'm incredibly encouraged by, by what I'm seeing. Just making it a lot easier for people to use our product. And that's the whole idea. So anyway, I do want to get back into the room. So I'm going to just bring back the capture program. Do you have any questions for me? Let me just close down this... Uh, here we go. Any questions for me, you can use this email address. This is a link again to it, get into our free room. And uh, I'll open the room tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern. So I hope to see you in the trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.